collective haul for you guys just some items that I picked up um, over the past week to two weeks and I figured why not just go ahead and show you uh, the items that I hauled so we're gonna get started this is not gonna go in no particular order I'm just gonna be digging in this bag and showing you what I picked up so I'm gonna start with these Juvia's I showed you guys this in a Walmart I think haul when I did the grocery haul I showed that I purchased these. These are the Juvia's. This is the chocolate by Juvia. And this one is the violets by Juvia. But someone wanted me to show how they actually look. But I was just thinking that, you know, they probably seen it a hundred times on YouTube. But I will show how it looks for the video. And you guys, my sinuses have been bothering me. Some I took a sinus pill, so hopefully it'll go away. But this is the chocolates palette, and I picked that up at Ulta. And it looks like this. It comes with your little sleeve, and these are the shades right here. Just some really beautiful um, shades. Just really, really pretty. This will be really cute, like, on the lid, and that will be cute for the outer V. You know, just like a simple look that one and I'm gonna open up the violets I didn't get the new um, I think the reason why I didn't get the new because I hauled that I purchased I think Kim Kardashian's wedding palette something like that and it kind of like looks similar to me so I didn't get that new. but this is the violet just really nice purples And these are some really nice pigmented eyeshadows that perform really well and it's really inexpensive. So if you're looking for, you know, some eyeshadows, like beginner eyeshadows, you can start with Juvia. They're really good. Okay, the next item is from Sephora. I went twice and I was actually looking for something but they didn't have it so I ended up just getting, well, I'll tell y'all about it. Okay, so yeah, I went to Sephora. And I wanted to try out the Glow Recipe because I've been hearing a lot of great things about the Glow Recipe. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to try it, but I'm going to get like the smaller size. So I picked up, this is the Glow Recipe. This is the watermelon mask. It's the sleeping mask. And I've used it and so far I like it. It's a glowing radiance and softening. So you can actually um, apply it to the skin and you can use it. Well, I'm gonna show. I'm gonna share with you all what it says. It says apply. It says the watermelon glow sleeping mask is formulated with watermelon hyaluronic acid and AHA to hydrate smooth skin overnight for a post facial, baby soft results. So you can use it two ways. You can either apply it as the final step of the evening routine for dry skin, add an additional layer for desired. It wants you to pat gently until absorbed wash thoroughly in the morning time and then you can also use as a wash off mask so you can apply a thick generous layer to a damp clean skin to damp clean skin rinse with lukewarm water after 10 minutes so I did both and so far I like it and it comes in this really pretty packaging let me show y'all really quick really pretty packaging and it's just glass and it has this little top plastic top on it and this is the product it's kind of like loose let me show y'all for those of y'all who never seen it before but it looks like so Okay, and you just massage it in the skin. Yeah, so you just massage it on your face really well. And it, it'll look like this, and you just keep it on overnight, or you can just add a thick layer and apply it to your face and just keep it on for like 10 minutes, and then you can wash it off. So, I also picked up the Glow Recipe. This is their watermelon juice 
pink juice moisturizer so again this is the watermelon glow pink juice moisturizer i picked up a small one because i wasn't quite sure how it would perform so far i like it and this is for dry skin used as a serum uh for oily to combo skin used as a moisturizer so for me i'm very oily so i smooth the pea size amount onto my skin after um serum morning and night and it says gently pat fully absorbed can also be mixed with foundation to add a subtle radiance so and i also use this and i like it a lot yeah so far we have some winners then i also picked up the glow recipe this is the watermelon glow ultra fine mist i have the one from trader joe's and i like the one from trader joe's but i think i like this one better because it has a really fine mist and this is it right here i, I know you guys seen this a lot it looks like lemonade and you just shake it up really good it looks like lemonade but i like the mist and it smells like see that I love that mist. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I like this. It's a really fine mist. And I went into the store because I've been hearing a lot about the Inky List. And I wanted the brightening ice cream, but they didn't have it at the time. So I ended up getting the caffeine ice cream instead. This one right here. And this is formulated for all. It's best for tired eyes. I need to use some right now because it helps reduce puffiness dark circles and i didn't use it on today but i have used it and to me it feels like it instantly um hydrates under the eye and it works so i want to keep using it but when i went back into sephora i found the let me show y'all really quick when i went back into sephora i found the brightening eye cream and I've used a lot of eye creams, guys. And some eye creams didn't do anything for me. I still would look puffy. My eyes would be a little bit more redder. Um, my eyes would tear up because it would be sensitive to the product. So, you know what? I was like, you know, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take my chances and get this because it was only $9.99. And this is the brightening eye cream. It's instant illumination and long-term brightening. I used this once, and so far I like it. And I like it a lot because of this, uh, it says use an AM or PM gently squeeze tube and dot a small amount of product under the eye and glide the applicator back and forth. And I love this applicator because it has a cooling effect to it under the eye and it just feels so good. Your eye feels moisturized. They still shoot fireworks, it's crazy. So yeah, this is so far so good. I'm liking it. I think that I will see a little bit of results if I keep using it. So I'm gonna try to use it all up and see if it works out for me. If it do, then um, we end there. And I also, I showed you guys this already. This is from Trader Joe's. I don't even know why that's in there. But she gave me some samples of, you know, Glow Recipe, Belief, and Clinique. Okay, my next item that I picked up from Sephora is this glow recipe. This is the Watermelon Glow PHA and BHA. This is a pore tight toner. It's a hydrating and pore refining toner. I've used this also for a couple of days. And so far, I mean, it's okay. Um, it comes in this pretty glass, glass bottle. And um, it's, I mean, it's cute. You just unscrew it and the top has a little hole in the middle and you just pour. You pour the product on a cotton pad and you just, you know, apply the toner. So far, um, I'm liking this. I haven't seen like instant results or anything, but um, I like this better than the one that I showed you guys, which is this one right here. This is from Saturday Skin. Um, Saturday Skin is a pore clarifying toner and it also has, um, I believe, let's see, 10% glycolic acid, which has like witch hazel tea tree oil and red clover i'm still going to use this one but i think i like i'm probably going to use this one up i'm probably going to use this you know as needed whichever one you know i think that i might need so yeah this is the saturday skin i showed you guys this also and it looks like that it's available on um sephora's website it wasn't in the store in my store 
you know, this quarantine has had me purchasing a lot of skincare because you know, you can't wear makeup. Well, you can wear makeup, but you know, it just feels so good when you can just let your skin breathe, model makeup and just go bare face. And you want your face to look nice underneath the, the uh, makeup. So you, you know you gotta take care of your skin. So that's what I've been doing. And I also picked up this mascara. The girl had talked me into it. I was looking for a mascara that's really black. You know guys, I love mascara. Since I, I don't wear false lashes um, to work, every now and then I'll try to like, you know, throw them on. But she convinced me to get the Milk um, Mascara. I've used it, I think I used it twice, and so far it's okay. I got the smaller size because I wasn't gonna, you know, I wasn't going to um, commit to a full size because I wasn't quite sure how it would work. So this was like 12 bucks. And then all my products, um, I got an additional discount off because you just show your ID if you work, you know, at any in the healthcare, if you are um, any essential worker, if you're a police officer, a firefighter, whatever the case may be. So yeah, that's um, that's what I got. And then I guess I'll show you. I did put did a Juvia's place haul, but I'm gonna do that separate because I wanna do swatches for you guys so that you can see how it looks on the skin, on my lips rather. And then I received a PR package from Duvall, and I'm gonna show you, and I'm gonna also use it too. I don't know anything about it, but I'm going to try it out. They sent me the Rose Quartz Roller, and it comes in a package like so. comes with a cute little drawstring bag pink my favorite color and this is this is it right here and I want to read up on it you guys I don't too much know a lot about it it's the jade roller it's a facial massager and it just gives you a manual on how to um, you know use it I guess this is for under eye I'm not sure and this is for the face but I'll find out more about it and I'll use it for you guys in a real, real quick face real quick skincare routine sharing with you all the products that I use but yeah they sent me that and they also sent me their sonic facial brush looks like that too and I can show y'all how that looks yeah, and it comes with the USB cord and this is the facial brush. So I'm not gonna go into detail on it. I'll do an, a separate video for that. And they also threw in a vitamin C serum. So this is their vitamin C serum. So far, it smells good. Yeah, that's the vitamin C serum. Right here. Yep, so I'll do a separate video using that along with my other skincare products that I purchased. Okay, and then I went into Akira and I was looking for some cute little flat shoes, dainty shoes, which I didn't need, but um, I found some. The ones that I really wanted, they didn't have my size, but that was okay. I just wanted something I could wear with like some jeans going out. I didn't, you know, I don't really want to wear any heels because you're not really going anywhere fancy. Some people will find somewhere to go, but for me, I'm in Chicago. There is not much to do wearing heels because, you know, COVID is just like whatever. So I ended up getting these um, slides. They're rhinestone slides and they look like so. Just some cute little flats and they have rhinestones going all around the shoe they look cute on i'll probably do an outfit of the day coming up just to show you how the shoes look but yeah i picked these up
from Akira. And I also, um, I had to order my deodorant from, um, I think I ordered it from Amazon because Walmart was tripping. Well, I usually order the deodorant, I usually like order like five at a time. But Walmart, it was so expensive, so I went on uh, Amazon and they had it. This is the deodorant that I like to use. It's from Mitchum. It's the clinical strength. And I've been using this for a good, I wanna say three years, and I really, really like it. I love the smell, the powder fresh smell, and it's a uh, 48 hour protection. Now, I like to use like Dove underneath, and then I go on top with this. And um, I really wanna kinda move over to the natural deodorants. Um, my mother purchased me a, a rock, but I haven't used that. Um, I used that once, but I wasn't, how can I say it? I wasn't um, confident enough to go out wearing the rock because it's just like you wet the rock and you put it under your arm and you just go about your business. And I'm like, oh my God, I just feel like I would be musty. But, you know, she uses it and she's never musty, so. Um, yeah, oh, I got one more item to share with you all. I did another Juvia's Place haul, whatever. It is what it is. And um, I don't have this palette. I love her eyeshadows. They are so, they are just so pigmented, so just, oh. Uh, her eyeshadows are the bomb, you guys. So I ended up getting the Blitz Astral Quad in Realistic Rose. Here is the packaging. Just beautiful. And I already used it. I used it on today. I put a little bit on my lid. Yes, and yeah, this is the packaging, y'all. And they said save if you put in this cold, so I did it, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna uh, use it because it's, I'm gonna buy it because I got a discount. But these are the shades. I'm gonna swatch it for you. Now, I have this one on my lid, and you probably can't tell, but this is like a cute little shimmery pink, and I have this in the inner corner. So, I'm gonna swatch the gold. So that is the gold and the pink. I'm gonna swatch all of them so that you can see. Ooh, that is pretty. Okay, so it's like a bronzy shade right here, the pink. The one I have on my lid and the gold. Yeah, so these are the shades again. They're beautiful. And they have the name of the uh, the shades on this little card, but I don't really be caring about the names. I should because you guys probably wanna know, you know, what was that color that you used on your lid? But yeah, so. That will complete my video. I'm thirsty. Oh, and then, wipe my hand. And then I just have a JCPenney's haul, and there was some underwear that they had on sale. Um, they had these cute underwears on sale. I'm not gonna be showing y'all, but yeah. They had these cute little underwears on sale. I'm not gonna show you that. And yeah. I um yeah that will complete my haul you guys I hope you all enjoyed this here video sorry if it was long I just wanted to share with you all what I ordered what I got and yeah I'll see you guys in the next video until then you guys have a blessed bye y'all